Good morning. My name is Jason Padno. I'm the director of the Charleston County Emergency Management Department. Uh, wanted to talk to you about a few things this morning, so we've brought together our local public safety officials. Uh, first and foremost, they've started to reverse the lanes on I-26. So if you are going to travel locally, you should avoid use of I-26 as well as I-526. Charleston County has activated the Citizens Information Line. That phone number is area code 843-746-3900. That number will be up and running 24 hours a day. Citizens with non-emergency related calls should call the Charleston County Citizens Information Line. Uh, today we'd like to discuss how public safety officials are responding to and preparing for uh, what we believe will be the arrival of Hurricane Florence. And uh, we'd like to start with a few words from the Charleston County's Consolidated Dispatch Director, Jim Lake. Good morning. My name is Jim Lake, J-I-M-L-A-K-E. I'm the director of the Consolidated 911 Center here in Charleston County. Um, the people that make up Charleston County 911 have been preparing their families and their homes for this event. Uh, they will report to work on Wednesday. We will ham have almost all of our staff here during the duration of the storm. Although our hope is that everyone will follow the order of the governor and evacuate, we know that some people will not. Uh, here's what we'd like you to know about the services we'll be providing during that storm, uh, especially during the storm. Do not call 911 unless you have an emergency. Call 911 to save a life, stop a crime, or report a fire. Do not call 911 if you have water in your house. However, if you are trapped in your house by that rising flood water, that is the time to call 911. Do not call 911 if your power is out. But do call 911 if there are lines down and it poses a danger to the public. There may be a time during the storm that responders will not be able to go to your emergency due to the weather conditions. If that occurs when you call 911, we will tell you that they are not able to respond and then we will call you back to see if you still need their services when they are again able to respond during the storm. There are three ways you can contact 911 in Charleston County. You can call 911 from any phone. You can text 911 from any wireless phone. If you cannot reach us by phone, you can go to any, net, any internet connected device and go to 911helpme.com, enter in your valid address, what your emergency is. At the bottom of the form, you can click on I am not a robot so we don't get robocalls. Click save and send and that request will come to us and we will send you assistance. For our Spanish speaking community, we do have translation services for voice. So if you call 911, we can translate Spanish to English by voice. We can do it on the text to 911, and we can do it on the 911helpme.com site. Thank you. I would like next to introduce Chief Ritchie from Mount Pleasant Police. Thank you. Good morning. I am Carl Ritchie, R-I-T-C-H-I-E, and I am the Chief of Police of the Town of Mount Pleasant. I want to share with you what the town is doing in preparation for the storm. Um, we have moved our department to 12-hour shifts, and we continue to pre prepare for potential effects of Hurricane Florence. The increased staffing will be assigned throughout the town to provide extra patrols, visibility, and to assist our citizens in any way they may need. I do want to say this. If anyone is out there has the idea of coming to Mount Pleasant, and I'm sure you'll hear from other communities, to victimize any of our citizens, that have evacuated their homes, you will meet one of our officers and be arrested. I want to make sure that's very clear and very known. This is not an opportunity for you to come take advantage of any of these communities out here that are evacuating. Our traffic unit is um, fully stood up and they are staffing all the evacuation routes that are throughout Mount Pleasant in support of the I-26 reversal. So they are there to make sure traffic flows smoothly and to assist our folks getting out of the town who are evacuating and go into I-26. I would encourage all of our residents to follow the governor's evacuation order. As you've all seen, the storm is still very unpredictable and has the potential to be far reaching. I also wanna ask if you know anyone with special needs or elderly 
please let us know so we can ensure that they are properly cared for or we can assist with evacuation if needed. I do also want to add and let you know in the event we are impacted by the storm that Mount Pleasant Police Department has three water rescue vehicles that are staffed with two police officers, a paramedic, and public works employee in the event to access emergency calls cannot be, re cannot be reached by traditional first responders, vehicles, and equipment. I've also shared this with the surrounding jurisdictions. If any of them need that type of assistance from our um, high water rescue vehicle, just call us and we will respond and assist. Lastly, I want to encourage all of our residents to download the Mount Pleasant Police Department app to receive current and regular updates on the storm. The Mount Pleasant Police Department social media pages are other good sources for current and accurate information, um, as well as contacting us and sharing information you may have received. And we, we watch that 24 hours. Um, in addition to the county's EOC or the county's um, inf citizen information line, we at Mount Pleasant will also have an information line for our citizens. I would encourage you to use that if you're in Mount Pleasant instead of overloading the phone here. And that number is 843 884 8517. Just remind everybody to be safe. Don't take unnecessary risks or wait until the last minute to make your preparations in order to evacuate. Thank you. Now I'm going to introduce Chief Reggie Burgess from North Charleston Police Department. Hi, I'm Chief Reggie Burgess, B U R G E S S, from the city of North Charleston. Um, as Chief Richie has stated, we are preparing as an agency to help our citizens as we get through this uh, uh, hurricane situation. Uh, Mayor Stumney has stated before that we've been in, in these situations uh, in the past and we've learned a whole lot. One of the things that we've learned in the city of North Charleston is that we've looked at predicting areas that are prone to floods. So we are out in the areas in the city of North Charleston, such as Pepper Hill, uh, Joppa, uh, St. Francis, and other areas that are actually prone to uh, floods. We've actually worked with our public department to try to get the drains clean and actually monitor those areas because we know the citizens will be calling. Um, another thing that we're actually doing, as you know, uh, City of North Charleston, the majority of the interstate runs through City of North Charleston. So we actually work with the Department of uh, uh, Highway Patrol and we actually work with them to have a smoother uh, plan to evacuate uh, when uh, that time is called. Uh, we have a citizen helpline and that line number is 843-740-2800. And also 2828. Uh, anytime you have any questions or any concerns, uh, you need to get in contact with us. Uh, you do what you need to do. Call us as soon as you can. And we'll actually uh, speak with our duty officers uh, so we can be as professional as we also we can. Uh, but be mindful, citizens, that some of the answers we can't get to you at that point in time. But we're going to try to make sure we find a way to help you in any way we can. Uh, Mayor Summy has always uh, placed uh, the needs of the people first. And also, uh, not only with our uh, citizens, we're trying to make sure that the folks, the officers, the public works officials, uh, uh, the people in the other areas of the city of North Charleston, when they are here uh, doing this evacuation, that we uh, actually have something to take them someplace and feed them also. Because if they are prepared, they can do a better job for you as citizens. Uh, all, I, all I can say is really just pray that we get through this uh, storm real well and stick together as, as, a, as a city and as a state. I'm turning it over to uh, Chief Reynolds from City Charles. Greetings, Luther Reynolds, Chief of Police, Charleston Police Department. I'm just going to reiterate what's already been said, I think, uh, very well. We, I, I think the important message to provide to our communities are working together. All of the emergency management, the Coast Guard, all of our federal, state, and local partners, all the agencies within this region and the low country are in communication regularly. The information about this storm changes hourly uh, and daily, and we're going to continue to track that and communicate in our emergency management centers. It is important that our citizens follow the plan that's been established. Obviously, we've, we've begun the lane reversal. The governor has issued his orders. We are on the same team, on the same page, working together. Uh, we want to do everything possible. This is a serious storm, and somebody is going to get hit significantly. There, there's communities that will be affected and devastated by the impacts of this storm. So it's critical that we continue to communicate regularly, which is what this is about. 
that we talk about what our plans are, that people know that we're listening. Uh, and as we get closer to the actual landfall and the storm itself, that we have already taken steps and measures because at the time of landfall, if we haven't done those things, it, it's too late. So uh, we have a good plan in place. It's begun this morning with the lane reversals and a variety of other things. We'll continue to communicate with all of our partners. Everybody that you see with me here today has been on the phone for the last three or four days talking regularly about what we're doing to complement each other, to make sure that we put all of our resources in the right places. All of our officers in fire rescue, in the police department, everybody in management, uh, in, in emergency management and throughout the city is focused on this storm, on a proper response, on protecting our citizens and our city. So we're working well together and, and we have, I think, what is a good plan and I, I, it's important that we continue to communicate. And with that, I'll introduce uh, Captain Antonio from the Sheriff's Department. Good morning. The Sheriff's Office has activated key personnel today. Uh, tomorrow we will act, do a full activation of all sworn personnel in the morning. Uh, our deputies will be stationed throughout portions of the county optimally. Um, particular attention to the outlying areas of the county to include the Barrier Islands down through 17 up into Ravenel, uh, Parker's Ferry, and up into Alwanda and McCullumville area of Charleston County. Uh, deputies will be stationed for the purpose of providing real-time information to the EOC so that we can keep the public informed. They will also update us as to any resource requests that are needed in the field. Um, Along with our deputies in the field, we will have ATVs stationed throughout the county, especially in the, in the uh, rural areas of the county. We'll also have boats for the same purpose for rapid deployment. Um, in support of the traffic situation and the evacuation, we'll use our air support, our helicopter, to monitor the flow of traffic and, uh, and, and keep the EOC advised as necessary. Um, some pointers that we want to that we want to point out, if you are evacuating, make sure to secure your house prior to evacuation. Uh, if you're traveling, please exercise patience and use caution. Uh, reminder, if you're in an accident and it's minor per state law, please move your vehicle off to the side of the road so that we can continue to keep traffic flowing. Um, and if you are in a situation after the storm, especially in the outlying portions of the county where you have to stop and assess the situation. If there's a standing water or, or, or something blocking the roadway, then it's best not to proceed. Just stop, notify the citizens line, and we'll get the resources out there as needed. Um, again, I think the most important thing to remember is to exercise patience through this and, um, and drive carefully. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Captain Reed with the Coast Guard. Good morning, I'm Captain John Reed uh, from the Coast Guard sector here in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, as of right now, uh, Coast Guard units are preparing themselves and their families for the arrival of heavy weather and to protect our assets in order to be able to respond immediately following uh, the arrival of uh, or the passing of, uh, of Hurricane Florence. In doing so, we've established an incident management team and we've placed liaison officers at county and the state EOCs uh, in Charleston and North. We've brought in units from uh, other parts of the Coast Guard around the country uh, to help assist in the aftermath as well. Those units are being staged and prepared. For the boating public, I, ask, I urge you to take time now to complete your preparations uh, before the arrival of uh, tropical storm force winds, which could be a day or two before uh, the actual landfall of the storm. As the weather worsens, your risk goes up and you put us and uh, as well as yourself at risk if we have to go out and, and conduct a search and rescue. If you are in distress, I urge you not to use social media to communicate that distress. Use 911 or your VHF FM radio. At some point tomorrow, our search and rescue uh, response capabilities will, will be degraded. Uh, we will still be able to respond, but we will not be at our outlying coastal units. And uh, we will have to respond from inland and um, place uh, additional risks and burden on the system. That's why I urge you now to make preparations. As part of those preparations, I also ask that you remove your uh, emergency position indicating radio beacons or your personal locator beacons from your vessels 
and take them with you. Uh, that will prevent uh, unnecessary uh, risks of, uh, to personnel uh, searching for uh, lost beacons or beacons that have been uh, uh, tossed from vessels and uh, uh, sending out a false distress alert. Again, um, at some point tomorrow, search and rescue responses in South Carolina will be degraded. Um, that, with that, I'd like to pass it to uh, Chief Mike Mixon of Mount Pleasant Fire. Uh, good morning, everybody. Mike Mixon with the Mount Pleasant Fire Department. I'm the fire chief along with uh, Director Abrams from Charleston County EMS. Um, I'm representing Mount Pleasant, but also multiple fire agencies in the room, James Island, North Charleston, and the city of Charleston. Uh, fire departments and EMS are currently going through our pre-incident checklist, checking all small equipment, strategically placing apparatus throughout our specific cities and towns in, in lieu of the storm. Um, CM Charleston County EMS is currently under modified operations especially with the lane reversals, they are transporting patients to the closest hospital. Um, we don't want to, normally we try to let the patient choose, but in this moment, it's critical to get them to the closest facility and to get that EMS unit back on the street, especially with traffic patterns. Um, in the coming 24 to 36 hours, we'll be increasing our staffing levels, um, getting ready for anticipation of the storm, bringing up additional units, and um, just getting prepared in general. Um, during the storm, we'll modify the winds. Um, there may be moments where we can't get to you specifically if the wind speeds are high, especially with our high profile vehicles and the, and the winds that affect that. But as soon as we can get back out to you, we're gonna come and get you as quickly as we can. Um, and then following the storm, we'll be riding the neighborhoods, we'll be riding major thoroughfares, looking for people in need, doing damage assessments and critical infrastructure, and also helping people in any way we can. But we, we urge you to be vigilant, be prepared for the storm and evacuate now if you can and uh, we'll be ready and anticipating anything that comes on shore. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, uh, our folks will be available for one-on-ones after. Uh, Sasha will provide some information for the Spanish-speaking audience. Good morning, my name is Sasha Vargas, S-A-S-H-A, Vargas, V-A-R-G-A-S, now on public educator and Spanish interpreter for Charleston County. El Centro Consolidado del 911 en el Condado de Charleston quiere que sepa lo siguiente. Llame al 911 si, solo si tiene una emergencia. Llame al 911 para salvar una vida, detener un crimen o reportar un incendio. No llame al 911 si tiene agua entrando en su casa, pero llama al 911 si el agua está subiendo y usted está atrapado en su hogar. Si llama al 911 si hay cables caídos y representa un riesgo. Puede haber momentos durante la tormenta en que nuestra policía, los bomberos y paramédicos no pueden responder a su emergencia debido a las condiciones climáticas. Si llamas al 911 a una emergencia, no puede responder, en, se lo informaremos que no puede responder en su emergencia. Cuando el clima le permita comenzar a responder de nuevo, lo llamaremos nuevamente para ver si aún necesita ayuda. En el condado de Charleston hay tres maneras para contactar al 911. Puedes llamar desde cualquier teléfono. Si no puedes llamar, puedes mandar un mensaje de texto. Y si no se puede comunicar, puedes usar 911helpme.com. Nuevamente, es el 911helpme.com. Ingresa a una dirección válida, explique cuál es la emergencia. Puedes incluir una foto si eso ayuda a describir su emergencia. Ingrese otra información útil. Haz un clic, no soy un robot, esto puede evitar mensajes robóticos. Hagas el clic enviar. Nosotros recibiremos su solicitud de emergencia y enviaremos ayuda. Para nuestra comunica, comunidad que habla español, el condado de Charleston tiene la capacidad de traducir uh, de español a inglés por teléfono, en un mensaje de texto y en 911helpme.com. Si tienes preguntas sobre el huracán y no es una emergencia, pueden llamar a la línea de información 24 horas 843 746-3909. Gracias. 